Is he in it? No. No, he's out. He just he said he wanted to see me about something. So how are you, Mark? Not been around in a while. Pretty busy at work, you know? Yeah. Probably okay. Yeah, yeah. You? I am, yeah. I'm bearing up, thanks. Listen, I'm running a bit late, so I'll be seeing you, yeah? Sure. Listen, Patrick. Do you remember that girl, Carmen? Carmen? Yeah, you know, the one you got on the detox that time. Oh, yeah. You ever hear from her again? I called her up one time. See how she was doing, man. Right? She's left the rehab. Maybe she just wasn't ready. Yeah. Maybe you should have shot one of her legs off. You ever hear from her again, you get her to call me, yeah? She was all right, eh? Yeah, she was. Overdosed. The press conference was a load of bollocks. Tell him. What? The mother was trying to sell us the story. You're joking. She was asking for 20 grand. What was the story? Don't know exactly. We wouldn't touch it. But she was offering us photos of a son and stuff, the usual. She was a hard nosed bitch. Had a solicitor as well. The whole deal. Paulie's on the terrace. Why don't you take a drink out to her? She'll be back in a minute. Well, go on, you bastard. What about you? Oh, come on, Callie. In my condition, the walk could be fatal. Would you just do it now? <sighs> it's been a nightmare putting them two together. You're wasting your time, Frank. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, come on. Have you ever known such a dreadful mismatch in all your life? They kill each other in a year. Mm. Maybe I'm just a big, floppy hearted romantic. You heard the latest bollocks. The just friends policy. Can't last, obviously. What I can't work out is, are they both trying to kid themselves? Or just each other? Or both of those things simultaneously? What do you think? Isn't that by me again? So, did you find Carmen? It's just I know you went to look for her. Listen, Callahan. my uh, attitude towards that situation was perhaps unduly dismissive, initially. Is that sorry? No. You did go to look for her, though, didn't you? You, uh, you wanted to ask me something. A while ago... John Sullivan phones up and says he wants to meet me professionally. And so I tell Helen Howard and they say go and see what he wants. Anyway, it turns out eventually that John's got some information that he wants to give us. A drug stuff, big deal, so he says. But obviously I wasn't allowed to tell anyone. Not even you. You do understand that, don't you? Yeah. What did he give you? Nothing. Nothing, that's it. But he's making moves on you. Yeah. Yeah, and Hill saying go for it, and Howard saying back off, and, you know, you know John, and we don't, so I was just wondering what you thought. Did you sleep with him? No. Did you want him? It's just not a possibility. Did you want to? It can't happen. What do you want to do? Howard, call. Connor, 
town and just tries to kill himself in his cell. Tierney's finally caught him before he had time to actually hang himself. So we don't know whether he's really going to do it. Yeah, that's right. Uh, listen, Joe's just phoned up. The mother's come in. She's downstairs with a lawyer. Hold off on Tierney. Come on, let's see what she wants. What can we do for you, Mrs. Carey? Mrs. Carey has asked me to raise the question of compensation. What? Uh, she feels she's entitled to compensation for the loss of her son. Uh, financially. Who from exactly? I understand you've been attempting to sell the story of your son's death to a local paper. What are you looking like that for? My Lee's dead. What am I supposed to do? Who's going to look after me when I'm old? I raised him. Do you know how much that costs? Clothes, trainers, food, drinks, sweets, nappies. Year after year, always trapped. It's like being in prison. Do you know what that's like? And some days you could scream forever. He was clever, Ollie. He was going to be a doctor. He'd have made good money. No one has the right to take my kid away from me. No one. Someone's going to pay. They're going to pay. What was he wearing when you last saw him, Lee? Oh, Christ. What was his favourite subject at school? What? At school, what was his favourite subject? Who was his best friend? What teachers did he hate most? What class was he in? I don't have to take this shit. You've got no right to ask me this. No right. What was his favourite tea? What did he like doing? What videos did he like to watch? What music would he listen to? What size shoes did he take? Don't you run away from this! Don't you run away from this. You stay and you answer our questions. Are you arresting Mrs. Carey? So, here I am, still. Unemployed man, former human being, 31 of no fixed life. Sorry I was discourteous to you earlier. Forget it. You know, my dad was always, um, manners. He was a good man, effortlessly. We want to ask you about the uncut heroin you sold Denise Bateman. And you know, I'm glad he's dead. So we can't see how it worked out for me. How long were you seeing Lee's mother? A while. Yeah, how long was a while? Two weeks, two years? Yeah, something like that. Did she know you were an addict? It may have crossed her mind. That must have been a lot to put up with. That's true, but I did my bit. Now tell me about your bit. You know, cleaning the flat, doing the shopping, running errands, going to the laundrette, looking after Lee, babysitting, making dinner, picking him up after school. Oh, yeah, and the, uh, you know, the... Servicing of her physical needs, you know, when necessary. Did she pay you? Oh, no, going to the laundry was reward enough in itself. Shall I repeat the question? It is, it's Groundhog Day. What did you get in return? She was your dealer, wasn't she, Bernadette? The methadone, Connor. The stuff Lee took, you got that from his mother too, didn't you? Do you know, the world is a terrible place. I mean, if there is a God, I cannot understand how any mind can be so evil. Listen, Connor. I want you to make a statement saying where you got the heroin. So that we can get a warrant and raid the house. What's the point in that? We've told you about the accidental overdoses. We want to stop them happening. Yeah, well, that's been bothering me. That overdose girl, Denise. That she said I gave her some smack, because I don't know her. But I've been thinking that maybe her name's Minnie. That's what they call her, but... But maybe her real name's Denise. I mean, that would make sense. I think someone called her that once. Is that possible? We can check. Yeah, that would make some sense. 
we don't normally have much to do with each other, right? But when you're coming off and your dealer's letting you down, I mean, you hit the yellow pages, anybody you can ever remember. So, many comes around at a very inconvenient time. I'm waiting for this mate to bring this bloke around about the video. You know, it keeps fast forwarding, you know, when you, when you don't want it to. I mean, mate reckons this bloke can maybe fix it. Just a loose connection. But Minnie's standing there and she's crying. And I know what it's like when you're coming off and I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Plus, she's a great looking girl. I mean, I don't know if you've ever met her. Anyway, I go around to Lee's. But no one's in. But I got a key and I know where Bernadette keeps her stash. So I help myself. I give Minnie enough. She says thanks, gives me the money. And I leave the money with a note for Bernadette explaining the situation. And the bummer is, wouldn't you know it, I missed the video guy. Another ten minutes would have been okay. Things still doesn't work. Minnie could have died, Connor. Which is how come the mistake arose. Because when you've got uncut heroin floating around, there's always a mistake. I mean, no one in their right mind's going to give away uncut stuff. It doesn't make any sense. Especially not Bernadette. And the stuff I took... Well, Bernadette hadn't got round to cutting it up yet. And I couldn't tell because you can't tell by looking at it. And the others you mentioned. Well, that had been Minnie selling it on before she realised how strong it was. Will you give us a statement? No. No, I don't want to do that. Sorry. Why not? Because when it comes down to my account, I'm going to take the consequences. For someone else. That makes no sense. Sense? Sense? I did this job once in Iraq. Driving out into the desert every morning after breakfast looking for wreckage. Neutralise and remove safely. I remember there was this tank stuck up on the ridge, one of ours. It had taken a hit in the side, and when we got up there, there was two blokes stuck in a the hole. They'd been trying to get out of the hole, fighting to get out, and they got stuck. And they burned alive. And they cooked just melted together. We bagged it up and had lunch. Now then, does that make any more sense to you? Does that make any more sense? I don't care about your old war stories. I want you to tell us that you got the heroin from Bernadette Carey so that we can arrest her. No. Why not? Because Lee wouldn't have wanted it. Lee would not want me to do that to his mother. She's had an hard life. She got passed around in care, out of care, children's homes, foster homes. If it's made her hard, it's no surprise. It was her methadone that killed him. He loved her. He looked after her. And she was all he ever had. And he wasn't old enough to know what she was and what she wasn't, so no. No, I'm not going to do that. He wouldn't have wanted it. Lee wouldn't have wanted his mother trying to sell a story to the Echo this afternoon for 20 grand. Would he? What? Plus photographs. Sorry to interrupt your grief. Bernadette Carey, I'm arresting you on suspicion of conspiracy to supply Class A drugs. You what? You're not obliged to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention or question something you later rely on in court. Bingo. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. How's Joe? I know this is broken. Paulie's taking it down to the Royal. He's in a bit of a mess, though, poor kid. Stick a salt on the charge. Sure. Hey, listen, uh, I need a favour. Something I said I might be able to do for someone. 